today we will be doing late chrono uh, chronic or disjunctive chrono you can call it with either name disjunctive chrono or late chrono chronic it means the same but there are some specific rules that need to be followed and i told you in chrono personnel the whole game is based on the rules if you remember the rules you will not get it wrong anyway now this jungle for the first most important point of uh, for any noun to be replaced by disjunctive pronoun is it has to be living only living object or noun it has to be only living this is the foremost rule this is the first rule if, if this doesn't satisfy you don't need to go over to the second rule okay this is the first rule only if this rule is satisfied that the object that you're referring to or the noun that you're referring to the subject that you're referring to is living otherwise it's not possible chrono disjunctive is not possible then i will it replaces only first persons that is what you can write Okay. Only living person. It replaces only persons. Second, the jungle pronouns are used in the following cases, or they are used in the following cases. first after say or is when we want to emphasize when we want to emphasize on the fact that uh, it was him who did it isi ne kiya theek hai ye jo glass tod raha hai na isi ne tod raha hai and we are emphasizing it was him who did it tab hum say lui kiya faisa it was him that did so so iske liye we would use say and the uh, uh, lui l whatever the adjunctive pronoun we, we want to use or sir saw for plural it was them who did it wo jo ball maar ke hamari khidki todi thi na wo inhi bachon ne do so sir saw a e u x theek hai So when we want to lay emphasis on the person that we're talking about, then we use disjunctive pronoun. For example, if it was say Pierre, he, Abi, Ari. For example, if you're talking to you're talking to your friend and you're talking about somebody who lives in paris who sends you gifts or whatever you get aap kisi ke bare mein describe kar rahe ho and then you uh, when you're talking continuously and then suddenly the person comes in, in into the picture and then you say it's him who is there say clear ki abita par say lui it's him say lui ki abi Ah, then you can copy this. Then I will be writing the next point. Now the second point would be after preposition. When there is a living person involved and there is a preposition, then we can use disjunctive pronoun. I hope you remember the table which I had shared in the very first class.
class in that there was a column for disjunctive pronoun. And I told you, if you remember the table and the rules, you will not get it wrong. Now, after preposition, for example, uh, we can we can have two people because you are also in shared one in, uh, one person masculine singular example only in the previous one. So I am sharing one masculine and one feminine here. No zalo she Pierre is really we're going to the place of Pierre and Julie. So what we can write here is you can see this is living. The first condition is satisfied, and there is a preposition. And there is a preposition here. So now, what is the most important thing which distinguishes direct, indirect, prono with the disjunctive pronoun? What is that single condition? The placement. I told you, you have to replace also and write it in, on the correct position also. So both the things are important. Here, you have to know that replace is not going place do place. Direct and indirect, we used to place them before the verb. But here, the disjunctive pronouns are not placed before the verb. They remain where the original pers person, the subject was. After the preposition. They will not change their position. Okay. Nous allons chez Pierre et Julie. Nous allons now I will not bring this here. This remains at the original place only. No zalo chaser. That is the second point. So I'm writing the third point now. I hope you all copy. Pronominal verbs and certain expressions. Pronominal verbs and certain expressions followed by a person are replaced by the structure pronoun. That means, for example, the phones are Pierre. I am thinking of Pierre. The phones are Pierre. Here, this this will become this would not be Julie Pons. Because this will not be Julie Pons. This will be Je pense à lui. Je pense à lui. Now you might be thinking then ma'am what is the difference? In indirect you told us the rule that the uh, preposition between the verb and the object is a o ala and there is only living object. So this is a clear case of indirect. There can be a confusion. What are the expressions that take up disjunctive pronoun? Please write down. Write down the expressions. Uh, I'll just 
erase this and write down the expression. Now you need to learn them. Faire attention à. Faire attention à, to pay attention to someone. When you pay attention to someone, that's a case of disjunctive promo. Penser à, to think about someone. Now, if you are thinking about a place or some object, then disjunctive pronoun nahi hai. Please remember the first rule. Jab person hoga, jab living hoga, tabhi disjunctive pronoun hai ka. So, yahan pe penser à, you have thinking of somebody, someone and not something. Faire attention à, penser à, songer à, avoir besoin d'un, de, songer à, that is also to think about someone, to think about, avoir besoin de, to have a need of. Now, I need someone to, I need someone to help me with the website. So, I, I need a person and not a thing. Like I need a laptop, that is different. But when I need a person to do something, then we would use disjunctive pronoun. So, avoir besoin de, avoir per de, avoir per de, to have a fear of, to be scared of. Now, if I am scared of someone, okay, that's it, so I am not scared of anyone. But if if in case, if I take this as an example, if I'm scared of someone, because some people are scared of their parents, care of their elder brother, if they have an elder brother. And actually, when you see, many brothers are scared, but many sisters are scared. Girls are very, very nice kind of species, and sisters especially are very nice. And elder sisters too, especially. Now you can say, no, ma'am, my little chotty friend is not angry. No, but elder sisters are very nice. And elder brothers are very close. So here also, so I can say that I am afraid of my brother. I don't have a real brother, so I can say anything. Avoir for the so I am afraid of my brother. So uski under I will use this juncture pronoun and not any other thing. You can be e take ke bhi ab en bhi laga sakte. Now when we will be going over to the rules of en and y, then you would get confused. That is why I am listing out the expressions jin ke saath this jungle promo use ho hai. These are the expressions jo sab ke marks kar pa de hai. This is the problem in here. And this is specifically meant for class 10 quotes. These notes that I am giving you, these are specifically so that you don't get them wrong in class 10. Yehi pe sab se zada gadbar yehi chup. In class 9 also we did promo personnel. We did not do it in such depth. Now we are doing everything. Okay, I am trying my level best not to leave out any topic which might uh, come in your exam and you may get that wrong. Next one. Avoir for the then être content de Etro ponton de, to be happy with someone. Etro ponton de, to get to be happy with someone and not something. I am happy with my phone, I am happy with PUBG, no. To get you happy with someone who can play PUBG. That is possible. Then to be at etro a, etro a, to be somewhere. Ah. And we do an example. Je pense à Pierre. I am thinking of Pierre. So that became Je pense à lui. And uh, first copy this now, and then I will write another example with phenomenal work. Uh, 
Now, next example is here, director address for professor. The director address for professor. The director is talking, is addressing the professor, the professor. So here, this will become the directive address O O. The director address O O. Of this is the second example. <laughs> now, next one. Report usage. This is when you typically emphasize the subject or the object. This is the same like the first one. To emphasize the subject or object. Subject or object have to be the Pierre is for three values. Pierre is for three values. Pierre, you, you were your um, relative's house, okay? And somebody, uh, your aunt asked you, what's my brother? Okay, and then you say, he, he is bringing the luggage. He's got, he, he is bringing the bags. Rohit, he is bringing the bag. Ah, Rohit, bol ke, fir he bol ke, okay, bar. Okay, when you want to emphasize, who did this? I, I didn't do it. Me, I didn't do it. You, you are using me also and I also. So when you want to emphasize on the fact, of, on the subject, then we use disjunctive verb. This will become Louis. Il for play value. Fifth, after comparative degree. If you remember the degrees of comparison, when you compare two things or two qualities in one person or two qualities in one quality in two different people the comparative degree of adjectives now how do you do it pierre sean mia ker caroline pierre sings better than caroline Awesome. So Pierre sings better than her. Now, this comparative degree we use this jumper promo. Pierre Sean Mir Kell. Pierre Sean Mir Kell. Pierre sings better than Caroline than so this was this is the total exhaustive list of the usage of disjunctive pronoun. We've covered almost everything here.
we will be this video will be uploaded and it will be followed by the exercises also we will be doing some exercises on the board so that you remember whatever we've done whatever we've discussed 